When I was in the seventh or the eighth grade, I got a text one day from someone that I thought was a crush. I was really excited, only to learn that it was actually a group of girls impersonating a guy trying to trick me. You feel shame, embarrassment, a lot of self-hatred. Scars of cyberbullying last a lifetime. I felt called to action. I really wanted to equip young people with the skills to be more smart and intentional online. Rethink is an app that detects cyberbullying before it's sent and gives you the chance to rethink it. So when you download the app, what you're really downloading is this keyboard. This is how we ensure that the technology is able to work across every app on your phone. So here we have text, but this keyboard actually works on social media, it works your email, it works on any games that you play, because what happens is this keyboard replaces your mobile device's default keyboard. And so then we can work across any app. We use really sophisticated artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms that can intelligently determine and detect what in different contexts is and is not offensive. 5G not only enables us to be efficient and save money today, it's actually creating the opportunities of the future that are gonna enable us to tackle cyberbullying as this problem evolves and grows. When we have 5G, we're able to collect all of that data seamlessly, we're able to continuously improve. It helps us get better at determining hateful speech and thus tackling cyberbullying at the root. Cyberbullying today, it's more cruel. Kids will be reminded of it for days, weeks at a time. It's hard on a parent to be able to monitor every single second of a kid's online activity. Stopping that bullying from happening right at the source is an amazing feat. Rethink is impacting the lives of many kids. Technology and social media in particular are incredible avenues for expression. The goal should be thinking about equipping young people with the skills to engage with those experiences a little bit more intentionally and safely. And we can cultivate a new generation of positive digital citizens to take action and to build a better world.